Hey guys, it's Calvin from Team Snacked. Uh, big news coming out of the KT world today. I have cancelled the short mode 3v3 tournament just because not a lot of people were signing up for that. And But there's uh, something even bigger and better replacing it and that's a second season of Pro Circuit which is a 5 versus 5 season so check that out on the uh, tournament section of the forum. It's a 5 versus 5 team. You can uh, I'll probably link to it in the description. And a registration deadline to register your team for Season 2 is going to be May 6th. I uh, don't know the exact date. I think it's May 6th. you got to check the thread. Also, uh, originally I wanted it to be a Clan Wars kind of thing. I wanted people on one team to all be from the same clan, but several players like Battle Monk, Nub, objected to it. Or uh, Battle Monk objected to it, specifically. And he wanted there to not be clans, because obviously his clan is just him. He's, in a, he's a kind of loner. So spawning up here in the top left hand corner we have the sick and lone panda. And they are part of Snacked Gray, representing Snacked here. Go team Snacked. And of course in the bottom right hand corner we've got Zorix and Daedalus, Grim Orange. Representing EKCC. Come think of it, I should have named their team like Eurocleave or something like that. So it remains to be seen what builds they're doing. We can see Zorix. He likes to keep his spellbook in the bottom left-hand corner of the bag. I always like to keep it in the top left-hand corner, which is default location. I guess I guess he likes to keep that in the bottom left-hand corner. You can see Zorix and Daedalus already getting post and tab up. At least they uh, for Daedalus getting both up. Zorix just getting post up, and they are making separate bases. Zorix at four rocks, Daedalus at this bottom part, which doesn't really have a name. But that probably means they're going for more of a tech route. They're probably going to be teching. And we can see Sick and Panda both basing together. Looks like they're going for anti-rush there. That's a mistake, although they don't know it yet. Making a turret here because they think Daedalus and Zorks are going to rush, although they are not. Let's see if anyone gets stuff on night one. With both of these, it's, it's likely that North Team will get spells night one, but I don't know about South Team. Because just simply because they're going for that hardcore tech route, they might delay spells till night two. Especially Zorix, since he doesn't have a tavern. Oh, well, we can see Daedalus already has Siphon. And if we look at the Structures tab, I'd certainly say that South Team is winning as far as making a good base goes. Oh, actually, it looks like Panda is going to be teching here. He's got the Murloc. He's equipped it like a pro. Six got his Huntsman's jacket. I hope that's some level 5 food he's cooking. Let's take a look at the APM here. The Dallas having about 100 APM. That's normal. Zorix, good APM. Six APMs looking a little bit low here. For uh, sick, he usually has a higher APM than 60, but uh. I'm sorry, that's six Murloc, it's not Panda's Murloc. My bad. So sick is the one who's going tech. He's anti rushing and teching. And let's see if uh, Panda's bird is gonna pay off here. And it looks like it may intercept this tent. Not quite sure if that's going to lead to any vision. It depends if one of them runs by and kind of tags the bird and gets it to follow them. As far as South Team goes, Zorix and Daedalus always have good scouting. They always have good birds. You see, they both uh, sent their birds to the exact right location. As they already see uh, Sick and Panda's base at three rocks. Of course, to be fair, when you're in South, there's a lot of places to base, but when you're in North, there aren't as many places to base. Three rocks is one of the really good places to base, so that's that makes it a lot easier to scout when you're south. And not get scouted in return, I should say. Still no spells for North Team, which is really strange. If they're going for an anti rush, you would have thought they had uh spells by now. Although if they aren't anti-rushing, I'm not sure what uh, Sick is doing with this turret here.
Oh, and we have Zorix crafting something. It's probably going to be a Warlock's Vestment, as that is what he usually makes. But we'll see. I didn't see him kill too many lambs before, so we'll see what this turns out to be. It's probably not a lantern. It's taking way too long for a lantern. We'll come back and look at that later. You can say Daedalus already going for his gun. Favorite weapon in a game that he uses. I know he uses a gun a lot. He just bought a Radiant, and he is going to be making that. Oh, no, Zorix just bought a Radiant. That was Zorix's backpack I was looking at. Yeah, that war was a Warlock's vestment. He's going to be making the Lantern now. And Daedalus is going to be making the Huntsman's jacket, and he already has his Lantern. So Daedalus, full geared at five minutes. That's pretty good, even though it is basic gear. And typically, you want full gear. If it's low to mid-art gear, you want it by between four and eight minutes. If you can get it earlier, that's better. Maybe Daedalus will be solo rushing here as he does have Gun Siphon. And he is going for that berry bush, so maybe going to be making some berry fizz? I don't know. Zorix here has all of his gear except for the battle axe, so he will be making a smithy now so he can start crafting that battle axe. He already has the materials for it, so he can start crafting it uh, right away. Although he's electing to mine this stone for some reason. You can see Sick and Panda already have their already have their wisps. Panda here does not have a main hand weapon, I believe. Sick here going for an orb. And its first quest. First quest is the Murloc. So I always like the boss quest for first quest because you can use all the stuff you've been preparing to fight the other players to uh, kill the boss instead. Let's see if we're going to get any spells. Panda does have cloak. Sick, no spells yet because we really use a siphon with that, uh, with that, not wand, you could really use a siphon with that orb, although he elects to get a second murloc instead. Not sure if that's the greatest idea when the first quest is popping up. You can see Daedalus is already on his way to fight the Murloc. So he does have Zorix buying some food and Zorix is on his way to fight the Murloc too. It appears to have made an... Uh, is that an axe? Hold on. No, Zorix has an orb here. Nope, he has an axe. For some reason just shown... showing it as an orb in the replay. Yeah, it looks like Zorix and Daedalus are going to opt for this early quest, so it's a pretty good idea. If you see the Murloc only has 800 or 900 health, so it's a pretty fairly weak early game Murloc. We'll see if uh, Panda and Sick can head down here and deny this. They do have the pet advantage. Let's see, they do have decent food for the most part, although it looks like... Uh, Panda didn't get the chance to finish cooking those berry fez. Daedalus has no food. Zorix has some food, but they're going to get some food from the murloc. Looks like they got the murloc. Now the battle will begin. But that murloc hammer is really OP in team fights, especially since you can snipe other people. Looks like Panda and Sick going to be chasing these guys off. If Zorix and Daedalus had food, they definitely would have won that fight. Unfortunately for Snack Gray, they are going to make it out of there and be find some more Tav food and beer and be able to heal up and get ready for the next quest and or attack. Did manage to leave behind some gold, which Panda's going to pick up here. The alien, or not alien artifact. I, I always think it's alien artifact. You know, I've been playing too much StarCraft campaign. I'm, I'm doing, uh, redoing the Terran campaign on Brutal. We have to get all the Zell Naga artifacts. That's why I think I just called it an alien artifact. But no, it is, a, it is an ancient artifact fragment. In addition to some beer and uh, radiant and gold that Panda picked up right there. Daedalus getting his pet, infusing it with the radiant he got from the murloc. Let's take a look at the upgrades tab. It is night three, I believe. 
or night two. Still no spells for sick. Might be a bit of a mistake there. As sick really does need spells to compete in this thing. Let's see how much gold he has. Only 14 gold, so... Perhaps he's going for the Murloc offhand, which is why he's buying several Murlocs. does end up getting Shadow Cloak and he gets a companionship upgrade. Perhaps going for an early second pet. Although he really doesn't need to go for a skull, seeing as Panda has the uh, Murloc skull from the Murloc that uh, the Dallas and Zorks apparently left behind when they're rushing to get out. So actually, Sick really doesn't need to kill this last uh, Murloc if he doesn't want to. Although he has two Wisps now, which is pretty good. Both of them with a companionship upgrade. So they're both going to be getting early double pets, which is pretty good. On the other hand, Zorks getting Cloak and... Guardian Spirit Cloak, of course, doing a lot of sniping damage with all the willpower of the Warlock Vestment. Guardian Spirit, of course, is mandatory if you're going to be going for a Warlock Vestment build. You need that to heal yourself because food will not be as good. Hey, Dallas, looking pretty pimp with that uh, Murloc's hammer. Going to be crafting something else here. Not sure what. Perhaps a buckler. Don't know. No, he's going to be crafting maybe a heavy iron gear. Next quest is popping up already. 11 minutes. That's kind of sort of early. Sometimes it comes between like 11 and like 14 minutes. But second quest is here. We'll see if Panda and Sick opt to do this. Maybe Sick not opting to do this or deny as he's still back at the base. Zorks and Nidalis looks like they are going to be heading for this though. With that heavy iron breastplate and all the endurance or stamina, not stamina, not, that's World of Warcraft, <laughs> all the endurance on the uh, on the uh, Murloc's hammer, uh, Daedal is going to be looking like ha he has a lot of health here, 800 I believe, no that's only 600, 650 health, it's still quite a bit, if he had the heavy tower shield offhand it would be even more. We'll see if Zorix uh, and Daedalus manage to get this, or if Sick and Panda manage to get this. It looks like Sick and Panda might just be here to deny, as bringing your pets along for uh, for the troll fight is not really a smart idea. You can see Sick park his pets by the fire there, as you really do not want your pets to get mauled by the Warlock's AoE, I mean the, uh, the uh, troll's AoE attacks. Daedalus mining for a Radiant here. Probably to infuse that wisp, although if I recall he already infused it. Maybe just trying to get a little more gold so he can uh, do something. I don't know, maybe get tab food. Say Sick and Panda have already engaged. Panda and Sick both with alright food. They Dallas coming to deny, trying to snipe Panda. Does manage to get the Warlock hit off on him. Uh, I mean the Murloc's hammer hit off on him. Troll switching to Day Dallas here. And it might, they've damaged the uh, troll significantly, so it might look like Day Dallas is trying to kite the uh, troll back here and get the troll blade for them. If that happens, Zorix will have the troll blade and their team will be really, really geared. Uh oh, stun going out on Panda. Panda managed to eat a berry fez, although he is cold. Not freezing yet, but fairly cold if they don't go back to fire right now. Looks like this might be GG for Panda here as he is running out of warmth. He's only got 10 warmth left. We'll see if Sick manages to heal him with the orb. Nope, and that 
control blade uh, willpower from the Warlock's Vestments uh, snipe gonna be going out from Zorix on the panda killing him right there. That was an epic snipe you saw. He just killed him from like a third health. Zorix of course switching to the battle axe when he needs to chase sick for the extra run speed. Sh uh, sick should have ran there instead of doing a cloak hit on Zorix. Looks like Zorix baiting him back a little bit. And Sick getting smart and deciding to retreat and instead probably go to North Shrine and res there. This is going to be a tough fight for uh, Sick and Panda, even if he gets uh, Panda res, considering that they both, I'm guessing, only have 5 Artisan. Nope. Panda has 10 Artisan. Sick also has 10 Artisan, going for a uh, cooking foraging build with 10 art. So actually they do have the artisan to tech into better gear and uh, if they if they want to after they res Panda. Unfortunately Daedalus and Zorix are looking pretty buff with the uh, Troll ham uh, Morlock Hammer and Troll Blade. Those are two really good weapons for 2v2s. Let's take a look at the upgrades tab and see what's going on here. You can see uh, Daedalus definitely out teching everyone in the game with both the Predatory Knowledge and Companionship upgrade and the uh, health upgrade for his pet. And you can see uh, Zorix getting even more pet upgrades, unbelievably. Predatory Knowledge, which is the one that makes your pet scale. He's got the anti-PVE buff for his pets that makes them dodge uh, boss moves. He's got the uh, Companionship upgrade for two pets and he's got the health upgrade so both of them with crazy pet upgrades both crafting obedience rods we'll see if they're gonna tame a few pets before they go to deny sick the res you can say Daedalus is already on his way to North Shrine to try to deny the res or to kill panda or sick at North Shrine he thinks he can take them solo because of his uh, murloc hammer although Daedalus is a bit lacking in food You can see him tame the bear there, that was pretty pro. If it was me, I might have just killed it with the uh, murloc hammer, but he was smart enough to switch to his taming rod and tame that bear, and now he has a pet instead of losing health. You can see, uh, and, and also taming a wolf, so... And he has a transformation scroll from the quest, turns his bear into a polar bear, so Daedalus and Sorix. Definitely out teching Sick and Panda by far. You can see Sick already got the res off on Panda. But this is going to definitely be an uphill battle. And I don't just mean if they turret at North Shrine. Maybe Winter buying a temporary respite, respite for uh, Panda and Sick as a try it as the other team may be afraid to try to attack during winter for fear, uh, for fear of getting frozen. You can see Daedalus and Zorix both with low health here. I'm sorry, not low health, low warmth. And Sick though and Panda are both freezing to death in the winter. The harsh Siberian uh, winter of the kobolds. I don't know. Panda here attempting to Fist fight a bear, never a good idea. Don't go out to the woods and fist fight a bear. Especially a polar bear. They're just too badass for you to take. Does manage to get that bear pelt. Maybe he's gonna make a huntsman with that. And uh, Sick and Panda electing to leave their campfire on during the daytime. Perhaps not the smartest idea. Although they didn't really have a choice with all the warmth that they were losing. So Daedalus and Zorix now do have vision on them. And things are looking pretty dire for uh, North Team here. See, Zorix is uh, running here without a weapon. Looks like he's going to punch them to death.
Alice looks like to be catching up the sick here. Sick with zero warmth. This looks like it's going to be GG. He's not going to be able to fight that polar bear, dire wolf, and the murloc hammer at the same time. Oh my goodness. The Dallas just destroying sick there. Didn't really have a chance, to be fair. Panda is the one guy left, and he is naked. This might, I would say, this is almost definitely GG for, uh, for, uh, Panda and Sick. You can see Sick throw out the GG there. That looks like it's it, folks. Or Sick is giving up, apparently. Panda is not giving up, though. Oh, you can see Sick leaving the game there. I wonder if Panda will do the same momentarily, or if he is going to make Sorks and Daedalus hunt them down, hunt them down to the ends of the earth. Panda is like that. Uh, he's like that one Japanese soldier on the island after World War II who doesn't believe the war is over, and he's still uh, staying there and uh, wants to fight anybody who comes on his island. Dallas and Zorks. Let's take a look at the upgrades tab. Just see how much uh, Zorks and the Dallas are destroying the remaining people. Yeah, you can. Uh... Anyway, so since Panda's refusing to leave and uh, just deciding to stay and try to 1v2, I'm going to talk a little bit about next season. Originally, I wanted next season to be a Clan Wars thing, so my original requirement was that all the five. There were going to be five main players and five alternate players, and the five main players would have had to be from the same clan. But then, uh, as I said earlier, Battle Monk objected to that because he's not in a clan with five members. He is in his solo clan, and he says a lot of European people aren't in a clan. And I said I'm pretty sure most Europeans are in EKCC, but still, uh, regardless, you know, I, w I just thought it would have been a fun idea to do Clan Wars. Unfortunately, uh, I realized that some people don't have a clan or whatever so I may I removed that clan requirement so now you can just sign up any five random people for the uh, 5v5 season which is next season of Pro Circuit so just I'll be linking to that in the description of the video you can check that out um, although I believe Snacked will be entering as a team you know I've been talking to Voodoo, been talking to Sick I asked them who they're gonna send they said they haven't decided yet so but if you're a European player watching this or something, or from anywhere else, Korean player, you know, Southeast Asia, wherever you guys are from, or American, you know, just make sure you uh, go on the forum, sign up your team, your fives team for the uh, 5v5 tournament. You can send five players and five alts, that way uh, someone from your team, five people from your team should be on quite frequently with five alts, since uh, the number of alternates is, is just as so much a number of everyone in the team. Oh yes, so yeah, Snacked will be entering as a team. It's too bad uh, Acorns uh, isn't playing anymore. There are several inactive members of Snack that were really good that we uh, ended up losing. But uh, yeah, in the future I, I hope they come back. And the, uh, oh yeah, the registration deadline. The registration deadline for uh, team uh, Season 2 of Pro Circuit is going to be May 6th, I believe. And uh, the, the registration deadline is actually important this time because it's a round-robin format. The format of the Season 2 is going to be round-robin. So every team is going to fight every other team five times. So there's going to be five rounds. And because of that, we can't add like a new team in the middle of the season. Otherwise, it's going to screw things up. Somebody's going to say, well, I played all my games for the season and maybe go inactive, and then a new team will be added, and we can't really penalize them for, for not predicting that a new team would have joined. So that's why I'm saying that as soon as the season starts, we're going to, the season is going to be locked. I mean, the teams are going to be locked. You can change the team roster. You can add players, uh, sub 
not subtract, add players, or remove players, or change the players, or alts, if you want, but because of the format, it, it's going to be difficult to add new teams, so please don't make that work for me. Please sign your teams up early. You know, I always appreciate these things. Uh, you guys sign up early. I mean, if you don't make a bad deadline, I could make an exception and add it, but I'm not going to be very happy about that, so make sure you guys get that get that done. You can see Panda here doing his pro cutting around the Huntsman Lodge and then taming the bear. That was a one hit tame. I wonder if he has forging. He does have seven forging. That's a decent amount of forging. You can see Zorix and Daedalus are going to be having none of it. Even with that turret, there is just no way to win versus a, a 1v2. So you can see Zorix and Daedalus both closing in from both directions. Daedalus possibly could even solo them at this point. You can see Panda is aware of his existence here. Although they Dallas is going to be concentrating on the pets here. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of damage. Those fully upgraded pets, plus the Murloc hammer, plus Siphon. And Panda says, WW, well played. Well, it was a well played game, although I'd say, let's see, let's take a look at the upgrade sad. Sick only getting cloaked that game, you know. Six is a really great player and was a really great player historically, but I think he uh, didn't perform that well in this in this game. On the other hand, Zorix and Daedalus uh, showing their classic uh, strategy of doing their normal builds and questing for upgrades. It's uh, definitely, I'd say, Zorix and Daedalus definitely deserve to uh, win this tournament if they do. Well, that's it for this episode. Uh, tune in next time to Couple Traps Pro Circuit. Couple